Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Marcus and today in this video I will share with you how to design and animate this kinetic typography using Adobe After Effects. So let's go. The first thing to do is to set up our composition. Let's name it kinetic type 10, make it 1080 by 1080 at 30 frames per second, 5 seconds duration and press OK. Next, let's select our type tool and write something. I've decided to dedicate these tutorials to my favorite YouTubers and podcasters. So the first one will be Lex Friedman. He's a fantastic computer engineer and podcast host. Check him out. I will leave the link for his channel in the video description. Anyway, select the text layer, right click and select pre-compose and press OK. Click twice over our new pre-comp to go inside and let's select the region of interest tool and make a selection around the text. Then go to composition and select crop comp to region of interest. This will adjust this text composition size. Perfect. Now let's go back to the main comp and with our text pre-comp selected, let's go to effect, stylize and pick CC repetile. And on effect properties, let's make all the values 1000. And the tiling, let's change it to brick. Cool. Now let's go back to effects, stylize and select motion tile. And let's mark a keyframe on a tile center. Now let's move our timeline needle until the end of the timeline. And let's go back to our motion tile effect. And let's multiply the first value by 5, making our type move really nicely. Great. Now let's select our text composition and right click and once again pre-compose. This time select move all attributes into new composition. I know, another pre-comp. But trust me, we will need this because of the following effects that we're gonna use. So, with our new composition selected, let's go to Effects, Distort and select Mesh Warp. Now, let's change some of the settings of our Mesh Warp. Let's make the rows and the columns at a value of 1 and let's increase the quality to a maximum of 10. And mark a keyframe on the distortion mesh. Let's move our timeline needle to 1 second and 15 frames then click on the Mesh Warp effect and let's make our first distortion. Push the top right corner to the top left corner and keep adjusting the Mesh Beziers. Now let's move the Timeline Needle to 3 seconds and let's move the Mesh from the bottom right corner to the bottom left corner. Perfect. Let's give it a little preview and it looks great. It just needs some speed adjustments. But before we do that, let's duplicate this layer. In our new layer, let's move the keyframes. So the first two match in position with the last two of the bottom layer. Hopefully that made sense. Let's move the timeline to the first keyframe of the top layer, select the Mesh Warp effect and press Reset. Change the settings again really quick and on the Distortion Mesh let's squeeze the left side into the right, so we don't see anything of this layer yet. It's challenging with these beziers of the mesh, but it's worth it. Now let's move to the next keyframe and reset the effect again and change the values one more time. And let's adjust the mesh one more time and let's move to the last keyframe. Reset it and change the values and give it a little preview. And hopefully it is working. Now it's time to adjust our animation speed. Select both layer keyframes and click on the graph editor. Select the keyframes once again and make the curves easy and easy and adjust the curves to your motion taste. Let's leave the graph editor behind us and let's select our two combs and right click and select pre-compose once again. This is the last time we will do it in this tutorial, I promise you. Let's name it type motion and press OK. Now this part is really cool. Select a layer and press S for scale and scale it down 33.3333% so it's perfectly one third of the comp size. Then let's go to effects, stylize and select CC repertile and change the effect value to 1080 in all of them so it fills the composition perfectly. Give it a little preview, and yes, looks great, right? Want to make it even more crazier? Try to change the tiling options. Want to make it even more crazier? Try to change the tiling options on a CC repertile. I know, you're welcome. Just remember to like and subscribe. This time, I think I deserve it. Anyway, this is it for today. Remember to check my other kinetic type tutorials, and again, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, bye-bye.